With me this morning is Todd De Decker. He's an administrator with the Bishop Hill Heritage mm -hmm. Association to talk about Ag Days, or as they also like to call it, Yord Brooks de Ghana. Very good. That is a mouthful. I know, but it's <laughs> Swedish. We're you know we're started by Swedes, and it means Earthworks Day. I love that. So, yeah. so tell us a little bit about kind of what folks can expect as they come out here this weekend. What are they going to see? What are they going to hear? Uh, All that good stuff. Well, it's Ag Days is another way we say it, of course. The easy, easy way of saying it. <laughs> it's a 19th century harvest festival. And what we're trying to do is give people a brief taste of what it was like for the pioneers back in the 1800s about what they had to do for everyday living. So we have a lot of free, family-friendly activities that kids of all ages can do. Uh, we have in the park, we have demonstrators demonstrating uh, wood carving and basket weaving and a whole bunch of other skills, blacksmithing. Uh, we have free folk music and folk dancing in the gazebo. Uh, there's vendors, there's a penning zoo, there's pony rides. And then behind the Bjorken Hotel, there's uh, our hands-on stations where people can make uh, corn husk dolls, bricks, press apples into cider, uh, shell corn. They're just activities like that all over Bishop Hill that people can enjoy and get, again like you were saying get a little taste of the 19th century. I love that mm -hmm. and also tell us a little bit about what makes this event so unique compared to a lot of other towns that do their fall festivals. Well I think what makes it unique is we really you know go into our history like around here we decorate our poles with broom corn because broom corn was one of our major crops of the Bishop Hill colony and again our emphasis is on the 1800s. We want people to experience the 1800s because we have 19 buildings from the 1840s and 50s you can explore that are shops and museums and other businesses. But you don't get that many opportunities to get an authentic 19th century experience like you get at Bishop Hill. And I love that you brought up the buildings too. There's so many of them to look at. And when you're standing here amidst all of them, you really kind of do like you're be like you're being thrown back in time a little bit. So Todd's going to come back with us again in just a little bit. We're going to talk more about what's going to be happening here this week, especially because again, a lot of it is free. Great family event. So we'll bring Todd back. We'll talk more about what's going on here in Bishop Hill this weekend coming up in just a little bit.